Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy, and if you're new here, I'm a first time mom, I'm a stay at home mom, and I'm trying to help you learn from my mistakes. Today, we're going to be comparing swaddles and sleep sacks that can help your baby sleep at night or during the day or whenever you have to catch some Z's because in the first couple months, it's all a blur. If you don't know, a swaddle holds your little baby's arms tight because they just kind of flail around because they don't really have control of their reflexes. So they can help your baby sleep soundly with noises and everything going on that won't wake your baby. The first one that I'm going to be talking about is the one that we got at the hospital. We got two of them. The hospital promoted it for safe sleep and that's a Halo Swaddle Sleep Sack. They look like this. They have little armholes for your baby's arms to go through and then they zip all the way down and then they have this Velcro strap to hold them tight inside. So it keeps them warm and snug at the same time and it is safe sleep approved. The pros and cons for this sleep sack, it's a soft material, it's very well made, they're about $22 a piece on Amazon. All the prices I list will be from Amazon. They can have multiple zippers. So you can zip from the top down or this one has it from the bottom up. So you can get to their little legs while they're in here. And then some have a two-way zipper that they do both. They come in this material or a fleece. I also have a fleece. It is very, very warm. I think I only used it like twice and I live in Ohio. It was winter, very cold. And they come in like cute little colors. This one's gray with little white stars. They hold up well in the washing machine. Like I said, very good material. The cons on this sleep sack are the Velcro. It is very loud because of how much there is to unvelcro. I'm scared to unvelcro it and my daughter's sleeping two floors up. So let's bear with this. The flaps are very large, as you can see, and that was very um, not swift to do in the middle of the night if your baby is sleeping and you just heard her blow out her diaper and you want to keep her asleep but you also want to clean her she's going to wake up and she did various times i would have got a lot more sleep during the night if it weren't for all of this velcro another con is you can't just get them easily into this because their arms have to go through the little holes. So for me, I would always hold my daughter to sleep and then I would put her down and put her in the swaddle. You know, if it's in a pinch, she's going to fall asleep on you and then you have to get her in the swaddle for her to stay asleep on her own in her crib. But if you lay her little precious self down and then you have to weasel her arms through little holes and then you have to tuck her in and slap the Velcro on, she's um, pretty weak. Can't really change them while they're in there with the bottom zipper coming up because the flap's too big. It's a great transition swaddle sleep sack because once they can sleep with their arms out, you can put the strap of Velcro over top of them and keep them snug and keep them in the same sleep sack that they were in when they were being swaddled. The next one I'm going to talk about is the Love to Dream sleep sacks and they hold baby's arms up next to their head. My daughter would not care for this. She wouldn't sleep in it. She just tried to like keep punching her way through. Like it just wasn't a sleep position my daughter was comfortable in. So we immediately returned it. They're on Amazon for about $30 a piece. They also have a transition where you can like unzip the sleeves 
and use it once they can like sleep with their arms out. So that's good if your baby likes to do that. I would say it's trial and error for this one to really see if it's a good one for you. It's pretty easy to get the baby in there once they're asleep like I talked about and you just zip them all the way up and then you're done. No like Velcro, nothing like that. It just didn't soothe my daughter. The next swaddle I'm going to talk about is the Swaddle Me Swaddles and they look like this. They have a little symbol that looks like this. And they have two little Velcros over here for the flap. And listen to this. Very easy to get off. Very simple. The flaps go in and then it Velcros down here as well to keep the little bottom from being kicked off by your little one. This baby is worn and let me tell you why. It is tried and true. It's my favorite one out there. It's what works for my daughter because you just lay it down like this, plop the baby inside. You don't even have to Velcro the bottom if you don't want to. Just tuck the one flap over and then the other flap, Velcro, and then you're done. The cons about this are that it was very easy for my daughter to take her arm out and then undo the velcro once she was more mobile she was rolling over to that point she was in the swaddle until five months old and then i just went cold turkey and took her out pretty much i'll talk about that in a second but she was able to take her arm out and then take her little hand and just pop this off she also learned to kick off the bottom so i would recommend this this swaddle you know zero to three months if you're doing a swaddle you don't have to there's no something that says you have to the newborn version of the swaddle to me is just like a little like sleeping bag it has no arms or anything like that you just like zip them all the way up so i'm gonna get that if we have another baby i'm gonna do that for newborn stage and then move on to this type there is a generic i'm going to talk about next that is cheaper and kind of better made but i would buy these for sure if i was needing to they're very lightweight they also come in fleece so they can be warm as well whatever you want to dress your baby in and then you can buy a three pack off amazon for 24 dollars that my friends is called a bargain because your baby's gonna shit and it's gonna leave stains and nobody wants to sleep in no shit stains so just buy a new one the swaddle me also has no easy diaper access you would have to take off the entire swaddle meaning like undo the velcro to get to the diaper but like i said it's easy to just lay the baby down and put the swaddle on while they're asleep so you gotta give and take with that one now the next one has all the pros i don't even have any cons wrote down for this one y'all it has all the pros and let me tell you why this is a leaky baby i think that's how you say it like that I don't know. Um, this is a generic Swaddle Me off of Amazon. I recently looked it up to tell you the price, but it wasn't on there anymore. I don't know if they have their own website or you can find them and I couldn't, but they were on there a two pack for $18 and I liked it better than the Swaddle Me. It comes in cute little patterns. These ones are rabbits. The other ones I got are little milk bottles. Um, but it has quieter Velcro and well-made Velcro. So the other one has like the little hooks that we're used to. These ones, I don't know how stick. I'm not into all that technology, but they do stick well. And then the bottom has the little Velcro as well to hold in the bottom. But let me tell you this, it also zips. So you can change the diaper and it zips completely around and opens like a blanket. 
So you can change the diaper super easy if they're asleep and you just need to change them real quick, keep them swaddled. These I recommend 10 out of 10 to keep your baby asleep if you have to change them, feed them, get them into the swaddle while they're asleep. Diaper accessibility A+. They're really cheap, about $9 a pop on Amazon. Gets there in two days if you pay for that prime, which who doesn't? Who doesn't? Uh, they come in cute patterns and the sizes are really well. I forgot to mention that with the Halo sleep sacks that my daughter was like in between sizes for a while. One was too big, one was too small. Who the frick knows what to do at that point. But these sizes worked really well. And with this one, if your daughter or son are too long for it at one point, but too small for the next one just unzip the bottom and let their little feet dangle out and then you can use it for a while until they transition i will definitely be purchasing those for our next baby if we have one if i can find them and i still have them i'm gonna keep them uh vacuum sealed and in good condition the next thing I'm going to talk about is a transition out of the swaddle because once your baby learns to roll over on their stomach, it's unsafe to keep them in a swaddle. My daughter learned to roll on her stomach at four months old, but could not sleep without a swaddle. So it was about a month of trials and error to see what was going to get her to sleep. So we bought many products, one being the Nested Bean Sleep Sack. This is the Nested Bean Sleep Sack. I got this from Amazon as well. They are on the expensive side. Just one of them is $38. I don't have time to spend $38 if my daughter shits on this and it's ruined. So... That for me was a deterrent, but I was desperate at the time for her to sleep without a swaddle and be safe. So I bought one anyways. It did not soothe her. Um, it is supposed to. The top is like a thicker material, kind of feels like a comforter. And then it has a weight. It's like little beads in here that are weight. And it's supposed to like lay on their chest and soothe them like you put their hand there. My daughter would fall asleep at one point if I did put my hand on her chest on her own in her crib. So I do think this would help some babies go to sleep. Did it help my baby? Mm -mm. No, it did not. Pros about it, if you're into it, are that it completely lays out like a blanket. So the tops just snap off like this and then it completely unzips. So all the way around. So it will lay flat like a blanket and that's how I put my daughter in it when I was using it. I would have this laid out like a blanket in her crib and then when it was nap time, I would place her on top, just snap, snap, and then zip all the way around. She slept in this a couple nights and it says it's supposed to help your baby sleep better within three nights of using it. It didn't work for me. She was still wake up, flail around. Yeah, I just don't want to say it's worth the money for you to get it because it might not help. Maybe it would help if I started sooner before she could roll over all the way and soothe your baby while they're just kind of like stuck on their back. It's really up to you. I'm just giving you what I had happen. Oh, something else with it is I was confused if the egg should go on the front or the back. So that's what it's called. The bean, I guess. The, the bean, not the egg. But I was confused if it should go on the front or the back because it said once your baby is a stomach sleeper to put it on their back so they wouldn't have it like on their chest. She would sleep both ways at that point because she was like learning. So I wasn't sure like at one point she was just going to be laying on it. It was going to be uncomfortable. I don't know. I think there's better options in my opinion. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. You guys, can we talk about how much foolery this is? I mean, I returned it. It's freaking $40 or more. 
on Amazon for you to get one. And I'm not about to keep it when it didn't do shit. I'm not. It's this giant little like puffer man suit. They called it, what they call it? A Michelin man is what it looks like. It's like a little snow suit. And I got a size up because all the reviews said it was tight on their baby. So I got a size up. It still didn't fit. It still didn't fit. You can't get your baby in there all relaxing it's supposed to be bedtime you're supposed to be getting them dressed whatever it's not gonna happen like you can't have them wear clothes in it because it gets caught everything gets bunched up then their little feet stick out she couldn't move her legs she couldn't move her arms i think that's the point of it but let me tell you if she were to roll on her stomach what if she couldn't roll back because she can't move so the only pro i have for this michelin or I'm sorry, Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit is that it's warm. I think it's too warm. That's a con. It's too tight. Baby can't move. You can't get the baby in there. And good luck changing a diaper in the middle of the night. You can't. You can't. The next one I'm going to talk about is the Zippity Zip Sleep Set. And it looks like this. It has little pointy arms like this. And then the leg, it like gets skinny in the middle and then the leg looks like this, like it has room. I got the size small, which is four to eight months. My daughter was five months old when I bought it. She still, like I said, trying to get her out of the swaddle of being tight. Um, this I do think would work for some babies. I truly do because the baby can move their arm in here so it's safe for sleep even when they can roll over. That's what it said. That's not what I'm saying. That's what the internet says, AKA the website, the listing for this product. Now they can like stretch their arm. So that's why they can move all around, but they still have like a barrier that they feel. So they're not like so excluded to the elements. My daughter would not sleep in it. I don't think that's a con for everybody. Like I said, I think like if we went from to using this before she could roll, I think she would have got used to it and it would have been fine. Um, so the pros for this are it's warm for their hands. It keeps their hands in. The zipper is totally easy. Just lay baby down, zip them up, no hassle. Easy to change a diaper. Um, the sizes go up pretty large. Like I said, it's safer when they can roll over. So I think you can get them until two years old. I know it's pretty well into toddlerhood. The cons for it, like I said, when my baby went to move and crawl, she was trying to army crawl at that time. She would, um, like trip herself, not be able to do what she wanted to do. She would take about a 30 minute nap in this. And at that point, that was success for me because she wouldn't sleep at all on her own so that was a win for us we didn't continue to use it we wanted her to sleep without it just because of you can't she can't grab her passy she can't grab it and put it back in with this and we wanted her to be able to do that to soothe herself moving forward the price is $37 it is well made like I said it has a lot of pros so I think overall, if you're planning on using this and just going forward with it, then I think that's a fair price. So after all of this stuff didn't work for my daughter, we just went to a plain sleep sack and went cold turkey. There were some sleepless nights for everybody, but she got used to it once she learned to sleep on her stomach and that was comforting for her. Like I said, she could move and get her passy and get herself back to sleep then this is what we used. We used Carter sleep sack. So it is just a plain regular sleep sack. Um, they are worn. I think they're all stained up here from drool and stuff like that. She would chew on them actually. <laughs> yeah, they get a little wide at the feet. They come in cute colors. These ones are lightweight. You can get them in fleece. I have a fleece one like this. This is not a Carter's. I got this at TJ Maxx. But the fleece, the Carter's one do come in fleece. She has long sleep 
fleece which is like this so this is fleece and it's long sleeve has little handcuffs still snaps up here so she can't take the zipper down which she knows how to do so I recommend anybody that's getting one to get one that snaps up here these ones are a three pack from Amazon $24 this is six to nine months and she just stopped using it last week and she's ten and a half months old we move to a bigger size on that one they come in cute colors two-way zippers on some of them not all of them so you can go up change them um without having to take it all the way down that is all of the sleep sacks and swaddles that i used as my daughter was growing i hope you found this video helpful in your swaddle sleep sack journey and what to buy and what's worth the money if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit subscribe because there will still be more videos coming I'll see you in my next one.